ओके तो गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू लास्ट क्लास वी डिड लोन शेड्यूल पार्ट वन ऑल ऑफ यू हैव तीन वीडियो स्टिल देयर कंप्लीटेड लाइव क्लास दिस संडे दिस संडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ मेगा क्लास सिंस वी आर रनिंग टू बैचेस फॉर पेपर ए बोथ द बैचेस विल बी कंबाइंड एंड वील बी डूइंग प्रोजेक्ट अप्रेजल ओके एंड दिस संडे ऑनवर्ड्स और मे बी नेक्स्ट वीक आई विल बी टेकिंग अ टेस्ट टिल लोन शेड्यूल ओके देर आर चैप्टर वाइज टेस्ट अपलोडेड एंड वन मोर मेन मॉक टेस्ट विल बी अपलोडेड इन द पोर्टल ओनली ओके सो नाउ पुट द हेडिंग पुट द हेडिंग फ्लैट रेट एंड ए पी आर नाउ पुट द हेडिंग फ्लैट रेट एंड ए पी आर put the heading flat rate and apr flat rate and apr what is the full form for apr annual percentage rate okay annual percentage rate okay now the concept of flat rate is used mainly in loans car loan okay now let's say suppose uh, you are buying a honda city car okay it's my dream car so you are buying the car for 12 lakh rupees you are making a down payment of 2 lakh rupees so what is the loan amount 10 lakhs okay so the loan amount is 10 lakhs now they say you sir the flat rate is 10% and the term of the loan is 5 years payment will be made monthly in arrear okay so if the term is 5 years how many repayments you are going to make 60 5 into 12 is 60. So the number of EMI payments that we are going to make is 60. Okay. What is the loan amount? 10 lakhs. And if the flat rate is 10 percent, what does this flat rate mean? The interest is charged on the whole loan amount, which is 10 lakhs, for the whole term of the loan, which is 5 years. So we can calculate the total interest paid. the total interest paid is 10 lakhs into 10% into 5 what is it 5 lakhs so what is the total repayment that we are going to make 15 lakhs this is the total repayment in 5 years means 60 payments so we know what is our emi payment emi is what 15 lakhs by 60 which is 25000 per month till now the calculation is clear now what is the defect in flat rate they are saying the interest will be charged on the whole loan amount for the whole term of the loan so they are not considering the gradual repayment of the loan like at the start the loan amount is 10 lakhs but during the entire term of the loan is the loan not sending 10 lakhs no so the interest should be charged on the balance remaining amount but they are charging interest on the whole of 10 lakhs okay this is the first defect so we need what is the effective rate of interest and how to calculate the effective rate of interest annually we are paying how much 3 lakhs we are paying annually 3 lakhs a 12 5 right at the rate so not at the rate now this is equal to 10 lakhs we are using equation of value present value of inflow was 10 lakhs and what is the present value of outflow 3 lakh a 12 5 now solve the effective rate of interest from here so how to solve a 12 5 will be 3.3333 now in the calculator you need to feed this so a 12 5 means 1 minus 1 plus x to the power minus 5 Whole divided by 
ट्वेल्व इन टू वन प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर वन बाय ट्वेल्व माइनस वन पुट एक्सैक्टली लाइक दिस इन द कैलकुलेटर एंड सॉल्व फॉर अ वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फॉर विच यू गेट अ वैल्यू थ्री पॉइंट थ्री 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 नाउ सॉल्व इट नाउ इज इट ओके I have shared my screen also. Navjot Singh, is it clear, Navjot? You are not audible. I guess there is some problem from your end. Arshia, is it fine? Arshia, Prakasha. I guess there is some internet connectivity issue from your end. Once I share my screen, see, I have shared my screen. Just look at the screen part. Don't look at the image in which I am also there. Just you tell me one above and one below. Zero point one eight, zero point one nine. What is the value at zero point one eight? What is the value at zero point one eight? Zero point one eight, three point three seven seven four, and zero point one nine, three point three one five. Okay, now we can use linear interpolation. X minus x one by x two minus x one is f x minus f x one by f x two minus f x one. Please solve for x. So. This is APR, annual percentage rate, or the annual effective rate of interest. Annual effective rate of interest, which is the normal yield, which is the normal yield, is what APR, rounded to the nearest point one percent. Like it will be something like eighteen point, just one more digit after the decimal. We need to round it to the nearest point one percent. Is it okay? Now please solve. Dilli Babu, Mardam, your answer is wrong. What is the final answer? Eighteen point seven. So APR is eighteen point seven percent, rounded to nearest point one percent. Okay. and it is the normal eff effective rate of interest so the bank quoted you 10% flat rate but in actual you are paying 18.7% which is roughly double the flat rate this is the loophole because we are paying interest on the whole amount of the loan for the whole term of the loan okay just copy this in full Arshia Singha your answer is wrong it is not 19.25 please check that is why the concept of flat rate is there na you are paying the full interest on the full loan amount for the whole term
डन कॉपी We have just done linear interpolation. This part. We are paying three lakhs per annum for five years, and now we are calculating the effective rate of interest on the loan. The loan amount is ten lakhs, but we are paying three lakhs for five years, monthly in arrear. Now we will write the formula for. flat rate which is total interest divided by original loan into term in years flat rate is equal to total interest whole divided by original loan into term in years is it okay hmm now basically flat rate is the rate of interest charged on the loan per year on the loan per rupee of the loan like what is the interest charged per year on the loan per rupee of the loan per means what divide so we are being charged 5 lakh interest for how many years 5 years so per year the interest is 1 lakh on a amount of 10 lakhs so per year per rupee we are being charged 10% interest so this is flat rate okay it is a approx measure it is wake measure it is just to fool the loan takers okay basically the borrowers and it looks attractive that the rate of interest is 10% but in actual it is roughly the double of the actual interest which is being charged okay now take out your assignment pdf we have done question number 4 right 4 5 we have done na last in the last class ha huh? 4 5 done na now you will do 7 8 start 7 and 8 in question number 7 A motorist borrows five thousand to buy a car. The loan is repaid by level payments of four fifty eight at the end of each of the next twelve months. Calculate APR paid by the motorist. So we are going to do four fifty eight point three three into twelve. A twelve one is equal to what? Five thousand, and we are going to solve for the APR. In question number eight. A man borrows seven thousand five hundred pounds to buy a car. He repays the loan by twenty-four monthly instalments of three sixty-eight point seven five, payable in arrears. Calculate APR. So he is paying twelve into three sixty-eight point seven five. A twelve two, which is equal to what? Seven thousand five hundred. We are going to calculate the APR. Solve these two questions. and then you need to try question number 9 done
डन ट्राई सेवन एंड एट What is the difference between APR? Is just the effective interest. There is no difference. There is no difference between effective interest and APR. Is it okay, Dev Somani?
write down a note question is why apr is double the flat rate why apr is double the flat rate write down apr is annual effective interest rate charged on the loan apr is annual effective interest rate charged on the loan bullet wise okay just look at board ones bullet wise apr is annual effective interest rate charged on the loan it considers the gradual repayment of 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 the loan you all have practiced booklet 2 booklet 2 is done like basics booklet compiler this is assignment compiler okay i will take the doubts also okay apr is kya likha hai apr is it considers the gradual repayment of the loan average loan outstanding next bullet average loan outstanding is opening plus closing divided by 2 let's consider our example average loan outstanding is 10 lakhs plus 0 divided by 2 because at the start of 5 years when the loan was taken the loan outstanding was 10 lakhs and at the end of 5 years when the loan was repaid the loan outstanding was 0 so the average loan outstanding is 5 lakhs next bullet we have paid interest of we have paid interest of 1 lakh per annum we have paid interest of 1 lakh per annum we have paid interest of 1 lakh per annum approximately interest charged percentage is equal to 1 lakh by 5 lakh which is 20% is it clear now next bullet flat rate does not consider the gradual repayment of the loan flat rate does not consider the gradual repayment of the loan okay the gradual repayment on the loan question number 10 a loan is to be repaid by payments at the end of each of the next 15 years the first payment is 100 and the payments increase by 20 per annum thereafter repayments are calculated using rate of interest 5% effective payments at the end of each of the next 15 years annual payments is there it is increasing so we will reduce and then we will write 80 plus 20 into 1 80 plus 20 into 1 i am giving you all the filler 80 plus 20 into 2 and so on calculate the amount of the loan so it is what 80 a 15 plus 20 ia 15 at the rate 5% this is part 1 write down then i will erase it this is part 1 first 
write down all the equations and then solve it. I'll give you all time. 80A15 plus 20IA15 at the rate 5%. Number 2. Set out a loan schedule showing the capital and interest elements in and the amount of loan outstanding after the 6th and 7th payments. So what we are going to do is, we are going to start with, we are going to start with loan outstanding, we are going to start with we are going to start with loan outstanding at the beginning of year 6. Like basically 6, 7. Uh, 6, 7 loan outstanding at start. Like basically our whole loan schedule table will be as it is. But we are going to start with 6th year and 7th year. So firstly we will calculate the loan outstanding at time 5 when the 5th repayment has been made. So what will be the 5th repayment? What will be the 5th repayment? It will be 80 plus 20 into 5 which is 180. What will be the next payment? 200. So how to calculate loan outstanding at time 5? 180 180 A10 plus 20 IA 10. Why? Because the next payment is 200. Na? So 180 plus 20 into 1. 180 plus 20 into 2. Like this. Okay. And this is what? Loan outstanding at time 5. After the time 5 repayment has been made. Is it clear? Next what we will do is. Next what we will do is. We will start here 6 and 7. Loan outstanding at start. Then. Tell me the columns, loan outstanding at start, then installment, interest, capital repayment, loan outstanding at the end. Okay, we will make the loan schedule 6 and 7. Now next, calculate the capital and, sorry, calculate the capital and interest element of the last installment. Now let's talk about the last installment. I will erase this because you need to do it on your own. Okay, now next, let's talk about the last installment. So it will be 80 plus 20 into 15 which is what? 380. This is the last installment. Okay. So 380V is what? Loan outstanding at time 14. Because this is only the loan uh, outstanding. Because this is the loan amount at time 14 which we are going to pay at time 15 along with some interest. So 380V is the loan outstanding. So this is the capital which is being repaid in the 15th year and what is the amount of installment? What is the amount of installment? 380. So 380 minus 380V is what? The interest payment. It is very simple. 380 is the amount of loan that we are repaying. Like it is the installment amount. So present value of installment is what? The loan outstanding. Basically, this is the capital which is being repaid in the last year. And how much extra? 380 minus 380V. Okay. Solve. Solve this question in full. And then you need to try question number 11 in classwork. Solve.
done with this question number 10 now first look at question number 11 an actuarial student takes out a mortgage for 250000 with a term of 25 years the mortgage is repayable by level installments made monthly in arrears interest is charged 6% calculate the monthly repayment so how to do this how to calculate the monthly repayment please tell me 250000 is equal to what 12x a12 25 at the rate 6% calculate the capital repaid in the fourth year how to calculate the capital repaid in the fourth year we will calculate what very good loan outstanding at time 3 minus loan outstanding at time 4 Calculate the interest element of the 49th repayment. Calculate the interest element of the 49th repay, uh, repayment. So how many repayments are there? 25 into 12 which is what? 300. So 300 minus 48 how much? 300 minus 48. 48 means what? 4 years. So basically we already have calculated the loan outstanding after 48 payments. So this multiplied by the monthly effective interest rate. This thing multiplied by the monthly effective interest rate which is what? I 12 by 12 calculated when I is what? 6%. So the loan outstanding after 48 installments into I 12 by 12 is going to give me what? The interest element of the 49th repayment and the EMI minus the interest element of the 49th repayment is what? The capital repaid, Achha, they have asked about the interest element only. Okay, first do till here. Do part 1 and 2 and then try on your own part 3 and 4.
आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग हर एग्जाम्स मैंने ये लड़की है क्या तुम लोग हर है ना तो ये पहचान लिए क्वेश्चन का एनालिसिस देखो मैं प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड देखो ये भी जान ली कि लड़का है कि लड़की है आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग हर एग्जाम्स सिक्स इयर्स आफ्टर टेकिंग आउट द मॉडगेज द न्यूली क्वालिफाइड एक्चुअली रिव्यूज हर फाइनेंस एंड रियलाइजेज दैट शी कैन अफोर्ड टू मेक रिपेमेंट एज ट्वाइस द रेट कैलकुलेटेड इन वन मैंने वेन डिड शी कंप्लीट द एग्जाम सिक्स इयर्स आफ्टर टेकिंग आउट द मॉडगेज तो दिस ऑल्सो टेल्स एस दैट द कोर्स कैन बी कंप्लीटेड इन सिक्स ईयर्स वेरी गुड Calculate the length of time by which this course of action reduces the remaining term of the loan. So we'll calculate the loan outstanding at time six, which is after seventy-two payments. Six years, six years is seventy-two, na? Okay. So now we will do. Uh, firstly, we are going to calculate. Out of twenty-five years, six years are gone. Yes or no? So 12x a 12, 19 is equal to loan outstanding at time six. Then let y is equal to 2x. Clear? So basically now we are paying by the rate of y. So 12y a n is equal to what? Loan outstanding at time six. Okay, at the rate we need to calculate I twelve by twelve. We need to calculate I twelve by twelve at the rate six percent. This will be the rate because we are working in months. Okay, calculate the amount of the final repayment and hence the interest saved by the actuary if she follows this. Course of action. Hmm. By a. क्या देख रहे हो तुम? Okay. By a n. Please solve. Please solve. Then we'll do part four. First calculate by. First do first three parts now. Basically, you will not get n as a whole number. This is the point. You will get something in point. So those many full payments plus the remaining payment. Navjot Singh done. Prakasha, what is the answer? Prakasha, what is the answer? Part one. What is the answer for part one? Please tell me. Do the first three parts. For the fourth part, I am just giving you some hints. Now, let's say suppose the residual you get the value of n as let's say suppose sixty point seven for example. This means what sixty one payments are required, sixty full, and the sixty first payment will be little bit less than the original EMI. Now, let the last residual payment be z. So, what we are going to do is. Uh, Basically, y was the level, so y is 60, y is 60 plus z b to the power 61. Now this should be equal to what the loan outstanding. Okay, from here you can get this z. Clear? Solve and try.
क्या कौन सा वाला कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ऑफ टाइम बाय विच दिस कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन रिड्यूस द रिमेनिंग टर्म ऑफ द लोन ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स का लोन है छ आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स इन द ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स लोन आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स ही इज नाउ एबल शी इज नाउ एबल टू मेक पेमेंट ट्वाइस दी एम आई टू लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स तो बेसिकली एट टाइम सिक्स ईयर्स हाउ मेनी ईयर्स आर लेफ्ट नाइनटीन ईयर्स तो फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट Loan outstanding at time six, which is what? X twelve X A twelve nineteen at the rate six percent. Okay, then we will be using Y. So Y A N at the rate I twelve by twelve percent will be equal to the loan outstanding. तो कैलकुलेट एन तो एन विल बी इन मंथ्स व्हाट इज एन व्हाट इज एन नॉट डन येट व्हाट इज एन व्हाट आर द आंसर्स फर्स्ट टेल मी लाइक लाइन लाइन वाइज व्हाट आर द आंसर्स पार्ट वन वन फाइव वन फाइव एट सिक्स पॉइंट पॉइंट फाइव देन पार्ट टू पार्ट टू ए फाइव फोर टू सिक्स पॉइंट पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स पार्ट टू बी पार्ट टू बी व्हाट इज द आंसर वन 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 सेवन Point one four, part three. What is the value of y? Y is two x, which is two into one five eight six point five. Now, what is the remaining term in months? What is the remaining term in months? Eighty four months. So, eighty fourth payment will be a reduced one. So now in part four they are asking what is the reduced payment. So it will be y. So it will be y a eighty three. It will be y a eighty three plus reduced payment b power eighty four is equal to what? Loan outstanding at time six. So what is the loan outstanding at time six? Two one eight two one four point point six three. Please solve for R. One two five one point eight two. Please check all the answers. Dipesh. तब आया डन डू इट नाउ डू पार्ट फोर नाउ Please do this question nicely. It is very important. We are now understood.
वट इज द एंसर फॉर द लास्ट वन टू डबल एट थ्री इज रॉन्ग एक्चुअली टू डबल एट थ्री अशोक सिंह टू डबल एट थ्री कृष्णा वट इज द एंसर बाय Someone is getting two nine seven six. Two nine. Two nine seven seven point. Two nine seven seven is the correct answer. बाकी सब सही है देख ले तो एन एटी फोर आ रहा है ना इलेवन वन 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 नाइन होगा ये भी गलत है वन 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 नाइन पॉइंट X Let's do one thing let's keep a long class tomorrow in the evening combined for sums That will be Ashia what time your college gets over tomorrow Students with day college what time your college gets over tomorrow just for tomorrow Dev or maybe Navjot Ashok Dev Somani Five you are in which college Dev Somani So you are going physical college or uh, like from home Navjot is having office till 5:15 5:30 is okay all right 5:30 is comfortable for everyone Dev Somani so the college is nearby like you are able to like reach in 15 minutes to the class no no late can be late he finding it difficult to go back home
then let's keep a class tomorrow comes class compiler class all of you will come physically very difficult to teach no the reason is the class time get shortened because after some point of time not very easy to you will also get haunting thoughts at night you have spoken whole day in an empty room दादा भाई मेरे सपने ओके देन वी स्टॉप हियर टुडे ओके सो प्लीज प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन एंड टुमोरो लेट्स मीट एट फाइव थर्टी फॉर कंपाइलर क्लास वील सॉल्व बुकलेट थ्री एंड डाउट्स ऑफ बुकलेट टू ओके थैंक यू